Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope you're partying like every day is your birthday, man, because we got a, another one for you guys today, and man, do we got a mother fluffing banger, so I am glad you guys are chilling here. We got top 10 best visually stunning action anime. So this is going to be my type of video today. I saw it and I knew I had to watch it. Y'all know, not only you know do I love some good fight scenes, but visually stunning stuff. That's really what attracts me to anime. I'm all about the visuals, bro. It's literally, I'd say it's... 50% you know visuals then I'd probably give it like 30% storyline and then like however much other percent the other stuff bro so but you know what I mean a lot of it is the visuals for me man so I'm hoping to see some really good you know maybe even new anime hopefully some already bangers we know so shout out to VinnyTube without further ado we're gonna hop right into it Is that his tooth? Damn. Whoa, this is where... Yo, I've seen so many, like, Lofi and music stuff uses this picture right here as their frame. I didn't know it came from that. These days, we've gotten spoiled by amazing animation from the decade long history of modern anime to expect a show or two exhibiting Sarkulga every season. Home. Anime didn't exactly look this good before. It hasn't always been like this. Still, there are some shows from the past decade or two that have exceeded Ooh. expectation and wowed us with spectacular editing, animation, or simply composition. For me, these Fate. are some of the standouts. I'm certain you'll be able to call some titles as early as now, but who knows? There could be some surprises lying in wait. Hey, that's what we're hoping for. Starting off, we have Beyond the Boundary. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I don't really remember seeing this one or not. Not if she is missing me in that demon, Beyond though. The Boundary is probably not in everyone's expectations when talking about visually stunning action anime, and it's easy to see why. It had a niche fan base before when it was airing, but now it's been almost a decade since airing. No Dang. one really remembers the show much. The blood it's looks crazy in this. When you go through your catalog of Kyoani shows, and it's a shame. One of Kyoani's first foray into full-on supernatural action is an experiment gone right, in my opinion. Fluid action sequences and a perfect atmosphere for this dark Whoa. action series help buoy this show that but he looks like he's on demon time. That is some visually great stunning stuff. Just that little scene right there with the green and everything. In my opinion. Fluid action sequences and a perfect atmosphere for this dark action That's series. some great animation. This show that unfortunately had good but not spectacular reception. It's not Shinkai or anything, but for its time, Beyond the Boundary also had some of my favorite sceneries and visuals out of anything wow. airing in that season. We can also thank Yoani's visual directing for that one, and I think it's easily one of the studio's strongest points. That one does look good. At number nine, we have K. K. Just. It's literally just the letter K. It's just K. At number nine, I we definitely have haven't K. seen this one before. K. For those who were around in the early 2010s, likely knew K for one thing. The filters. Before No Game No Life the made filters. it cool, K was known as the charismatic show that had the unique tint thing plastered on the screen all the time. Oh, I also meant that it's known for one thing, it's stunning action sequences. Make no mistake, K is a show that carries with it a lot of cool rebel energy, if you get what I mean, and that strong point gets accentuated even more with its art and animation. Overall, yeah, yeah, that man's doing that shit casually. Beautiful. The visuals vividly capture the atmosphere of the busting. He looks like he's taking a nap while doing all this. The fights are, as the video's title suggests, visually stunning. It gets especially Especially great when the people start soaring and the camera angles capture the impact of each object's motions. K, as well as the succeeding season and the movie, is a series that takes you on a literal thrill ride. And while the screen filters can be a bit hit or miss, the animation is definitely a thing to lord. See, I don't know if I like that screen filters thing. I, I mean, it, if it's done in the right setting, I think it could add for some really good visuals and, you know, really help the scene move along. Just give it some nice little touch to it. But, I don't know. There, I feel like some scenes, they don't need it in. Like this one, you probably don't need a filter in. It might look a lot cleaner without any of the blue and stuff. And just really detail the art. 
That shit would look tough. The filters. Before No Game No Life made it cool, K was known as the charismatic show that had the unique Oh shit, we went way too far. Hold on, where are we at? Angle. The animation is definitely a thing to lord. And then the movie is a series that takes you on a literal thrill ride. And while the screen filters can be a bit hit or miss, the animation is definitely a thing to lord. It's a little island. In eighth place, Sword Art Online. Awesome. In a contrast to the first entries now, this is a show that needs no introduction. With the series still going relatively strong for its decade-long run, pretty much everything that can be said about SAO has been said somewhere on the internet. No matter what your opinions on the franchise as a whole are, however, one thing he got a Pikachu fist. In terms of production values, did... Was that a... <laughs> what the shit is this? Is, is this in the movie? It's like a hit timer thing. You gotta hit him in that much time. Is that is that y'all actually in the show? Like you gotta there's shit like that? Or is this like from a a game clip or something that can be said about SAO has been said somewhere on the internet. No matter what your opinions on the franchise, he only got one hit. However, one thing cannot be denied in terms of production values, SAO is king. Sure, there's the meme Kirito shot and other hiccups, but taken as a whole, SAO is a show that undeniably looks good. A1 Pictures themselves don't have the most stellar reputations, but if you want a show for them to demonstrate their skill, you can just point to what's become their flagship title. By the time the series reached the War of Underworld arc, there was Sakuga almost every other episode. Coming at us with some of the most yeah, this one looks pretty heat. fireworks the franchise has ever seen. I mean, it's always, always great stuff coming from uh, Sword Art Online. Honestly, it, it's one of the ones that I've said I've needed to check out, but I honestly do need to check out. I think I'd really enjoy this. You know, great visuals, and it's like Ready Player One type of, uh, you know, stuff, and I really love that kind of storyline. Almost every other episode coming at us I really enjoy the most extravagant series. lights and fireworks the franchise has ever seen. Though over a hundred episodes, two movies and counting, and all the extra anime content, oh, one thing oh. has remained consistent with SAO, and that is its excellent art and animation quality. Dang, y'all finna just watch yourself get toaster? You better Next start up, running. Next we have Gekai Sensen in seventh place. Dang, I haven't heard of literally any of these anime, man. Feels bad. Next up, we have Gekai Sensen Some in cool seventh goggles, place. Though. Nowadays, it seems that people know Gekai Sensen more the for its was ending for sake. You know, The first season's very popular ending sequence that has been parodied quite often. That fact gives me mixed feelings because while I love how the show's getting some love, moving past the ending sequence, I legitimately enjoyed this supernatural foray into Hell Salem's lot with the ever-trusty Leonardo watch on our side. The episodic nature of most of the episodes I love that lighter may not scene, be a lot man. for people, but for those who just wanted their dose of urban fantasy action, you'll be in for hell of a treat. Studio Bones really went all out for this decent Niche title to produce Holy shit, look at all the colors. The animated action series in 2015. The said, I'm over here, bud. Animation helps support the character writing, which many have praised, and what you get is a title that unexpectedly exceeded all expectations that I had. It's also got another season mm -hmm. which likewise delivered the same goodness. Yeah, man, so I, the fun stop yawning, bro. Just 12 episodes. My fault, so it's been a long day, man. to Movie Land with Garden of Sinners at 6. Garden of Sinners? Ah, that little one of the knife. many lesser known Nasu titles. Garden of Sinners is most oh! known for its very intricate storytelling, the mysterious aura. Yo, what is going on? This biz hands just got possessed. She just stabbed her own hand. She got some issues she needs to work out. Ah. One of the many lesser known Nasu titles. Garden of Sinners is mostly known for its very Almost went for the storytelling, face. the mysterious aura that it carries, and to a lesser extent, the breathtaking visuals. Perhaps it's because people expect great visuals from a theatrical production, but the Garden of Sinners movies go beyond those expectations and shatter them over the course of seven movies. The mid to late 2000s is still quite early in their history, but UFO Table already started showing wow. the future with how That bamboo scene is tough. Y'all know I love me my bamboo, but the water droplets just dripping off of her. I'm so glad they made her outfit red in this scene, too. That red just... Red in animes are either done very, very well, and they add a lot of pop to the screen, and just... Mm, just a lot of goodness. 
or they just fade out and they are really bland and ugly. Started I think it's just either or the always. With how the Garden of Sinners movie was animated, very fluid and well choreographed action sequences get coupled with those melancholic back detailed environments. Three kicks in a row. Air the movie series has most of the time. She ain't playing the around. The designs are also a thing of beauty. And looking at Garden of Sinners overall, I guess it's a prelude of things to come for you. Does look nice. Oh, she got God though. She got God God. Now, before we continue, I'd like to mention that we finally have a Discord server. She in the wall, hey. After you finish the video. Make sure y'all go show Vinny 2's Discord some love, man. He really does a lot, you know, and we're able to watch a lot of his videos, which I always appreciate. So he definitely deserves it, man. Yeah, and join the community for giveaways, events, anime discussion, and other fun 829 stuff. 829 members, holy shit. At number five, we take a look at the newest kid on the block, Jujutsu bro. Kaisen. Come on, bro, I gotta wake up. Juju's pretty good. I just wish that. Ooh, bro. Juju, out of all of the dubs you guys have ever seen, Juju has by far the worst dub that I've seen. You know? And, I mean, I've seen little clips of bad dubs, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, sit down and actually watch the episodes. We watched, like, one or two on stream, and it was so bad. Like, I don't even usually got a problem with dub. You know what I'm saying? It could be bad sometimes, but it's all right. Juju has the worst dub. I mean, bro, it's just emotionless. I feel like I'm watching R2-D2 as a real person. You the know, that cool shit is terrible. The kid of the 2020s, Jujutsu Kaisen. To say that Jujutsu Kaisen's best point is the animation, I feel, would be doing the anime a very minor disservice. When it comes to the world of battle shounen, I personally feel that Jujutsu Kaisen is more than the sparks and flashes. It's got some That man doing hand signs in his mouth? <laughs> slightly past norms while keeping in line with the established tropes of the genre and introduces us to some really nice fight setups. Whoa. You can't tell me this show would not be good. That's all I need to say. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. Tell me this show would not be fire. If you watched it. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, it's got some creative you know, you know. usage of its if cast, you don't, you goes don't. slightly past norms while keeping in line with the established tropes of the genre and introduces us to some really nice fight setups. But I can't blame you if the first thing that strikes out to you for Jujutsu Kaisen is its animation. I mean, Sakuga is just everywhere in Jujutsu Kaisen. We can talk about the Hanami fight, or half the things Gojo does, or Fushiguro. Gojo is that dude. I love Gojo. Series. Almost every episode, there's something in the visual spectacle that is Jujutsu Kaisen that makes people... Look at that red, drop. man. Jujutsu Kaisen is the newest addition to the ever- Just that flower red. I'm telling y'all, that that red, it's just so subtle. But if they do it right, it just adds such a pop to the screen. Like, all of this stuff is going on, and where is my eyes at right now? Boom, this red. Kaisen is the newest- you know what I mean? It just brings your eyes in that color. In addition to the ever-growing library of anime titans to take the world by storm, and it made the best entrance that anyone could hope for. That wolf packed a punch right there. Right after Jujutsu Kaisen is Demon Slayer. Hey! Come on, man. We gotta have this one on here for visual stunning no fights. No surprise, Demon Slayer is on this list. And yes, I intentionally placed it next to Jujutsu Kaisen because in a more meta sense, the two shows feel like successes to each other given their similar trajectories and success. Settings change. I can agree with that. And I think in, you know... Not exactly the same, but I think they do have a little bit similar art styles when it comes to the way they do things. Not in every aspect, but I think in a, you know, a few little categories for I sure. I intentionally placed it next to Jujutsu Kaisen because in a more what a guy, sense, Vinny. the two shows Smart feel like man. successes to each other given their similar trajectories and success. Settings changed, characters changed, but the whole premise of a team of specialists fighting supernatural and demonic beings lives on. For Demon Slayer, everyone can talk about Rui. But have you seen what UFO Table did with the movie? How about the time Zenitsu showed off how badass he? Bro, that man hey, makes Rui look like a bitch, dog. District arc. There's no shortage of Demon Slayer just being well, visually stunning. Vivid backgrounds, a bright art style that captures the vigor of the era, and spectacular post-processing effects that enhance every moment they're in. I haven't seen these parts happen, yet, so I can't wait to watch that. Manages to surpass its source material thanks to these extravagant visuals. It's an um. on here, and if you've been in the anime community for the past year or so you wouldn't have needed to hear that from me how did he miss his neck right there he damn near went right through the middle we open our top three with mushoku tensei yeah! yo this the show dog this the show 
Remember when I told y'all I literally ran? It was it was a little bit ago, but I literally saw a TikTok clip that was absolutely one of the best clips I've seen, and I literally watched the whole entire anime series within a few days just because it intrigued me. Now I'm not gonna lie, there is some very weird, weird, weird parts in this one. But when it comes to the actual storyline itself, I love the way they do things. Our top three with Mushoku Tensei. This shit is pretty fire. I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. Isekai isn't gonna disappoint. I don't blame you if you had your doubts, however. After all, given how saturated Isekai is these days, we have a lot of these low-budget filler works. It would be a crime against humanity if the anime gods dare saddle Mushoku Tensei with that treatment, right? All those fears were put to the test when the first episodes dropped, and the momentum just kept going. Mushoku Tensei is a title with a very lush and vibrant setting, and much of the world building and the feeling of discovering a whole new world were. I don't think I've seen the dragon. Yet. Studio skill in background design oh, and yeah, I have. animation. Mushoku Tensei boasts a lot of fights that really give off that much needed impact a fight has to have thanks to the animation team. Not every show gets the honor of having a studio made solely for adapting it, you know? That's how we know these guys are serious about Mushoku Tensei, and it's up to us to enjoy the fruits of the team. This is labor. such a beautiful show. And all, this is by far one of the most well made isekai out there. This dude, y'all, this was the scene I was talking about. This man literally was like a 20 second clip with this dude right here, bro. And it just, I had to watch it after this part right here. I literally had to. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't seen this, if you're, all right, viewer discretion is advised. That's all I'm going to say. There is some very sus, weird scenes in this shit. You know what I mean? Just like Hunter x Hunter, you know what I mean? How it's like such a good, good anime and you love the storyline of it and everything like that. But there's some parts, bro, that if you ever, you know what I'm saying? Your homies who don't be watching that shit ever saw that, they look at you and, you know, they might never look at you the same anymore. They be having some shit like that in this. So <laughs> make sure you're watching it in a safe spot and uh, be careful. Man. But it's an awesome one. It's an awesome one. Second place is Mob Psycho 100. I wonder who's taking the cake at first. Damn, he just broke Again, that dude's glissy. I don't think glissy. I need to tell you anything about the amazing visuals of Mob Psycho 100. An amazing series in its own right. People He's over beating the world that man new. Mob Psycho for its interesting characters, engaging plot, and of course, Pause the on that, bro. animation and fight sequences. In fact, you could be around back when people were up in arms because the title didn't win Best Animation in one Crunchyroll Award or something, but that's besides the point. What I'm here to highlight is the cinematic aesthetics that Mob Psycho has. It looks deceptively simplistic, the art, but when you start seeing the fight sequences, how the powers get presented, and how everything just moves and reacts according to the events you're seeing on screen, just prepare to be blown Dang, away. Dang, Nazi, that looks very tough. Is not Mob Psycho's strongest suit for me, but it sure is the one that strikes out among its peers. Mob Psycho 100 is an adaptation that showcases the power of an adaptation. Just like Demon Slayer, it's a title that shows how being able to see and hear things brings you a way better experience than just reading something. Shout out, man. Vinny does such a good job you know, narrating, I definitely can agree, Mob Psycho doesn't have, like, super, you know, I mean, it has good art style, but it's not like, you know, say your name, it's like super clean cut, and super stuff like that, but it's clean cut enough, and then it has beautiful transitions and colors and stuff, just makes for a really good anime, you know? Adaptation. Just like Demon Slayer, it's a title that shows how being able to see and hear things brings you a Shout way out, better man. experience than just reading something. The most visually stunning action oh, for me is none other than UFO Table's Fate. Oh, of course, man. Fate. Gotta be Fate. Fate Stay Night didn't have the most glorious art. It's not that Dean Stay Night is absolutely awful, but it's a show that didn't do too much to bring the Fate franchise to the mainstream. Back in the mid-2000s, you'd be laughed at if you thought that this little VN adaptation would soon turn Dude, into look at a the money fights going in the on. world of mobile games and anime. Fate struck gold when UFO Table got handed the reins to adapt both Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works, and it just snowballed from there. Finally, Fate had an adaptation done wow. right, and it couldn't have found a better studio to do it. One of the best modern VN adaptations the two anime continue the series momentum and before you know it we have a multi big dude just 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 dodge the bully dog 
You know what I'm saying? If you got all the time in the world to do this to the bullet, you got enough time to move out the way of the bullet. You know what I mean? Could have, instead of going like this, could have just, or right through the hand. Dude. One of the best modern VN adaptations, the two anime continue the series' momentum, and before you know it, we have a multi-billion dollar franchise on our hands. From the very smooth fight animation to the amazing presentation that really drove home how overwhelming the noble phantasms are, UFO Table's fate has everything you'd want from an action anime if we're talking oh, wow, about Wow, man, this one is so and that's clean. Even getting to the Heavens Feel movies. If you're looking for a long franchise that can fill you with hours of exciting fights and visual spectacles, UFO Table's fate is here for you. And don't worry about the notorious watch order. You can just go zero, then UBW or Heaven's Feel. Oh! Oh, it's right, bro. You gonna have a concussion for life with that? Notorious watch order. You can just go zero, then UBW. This man just or got skewered. Info tables fate. Your pick for most visually stunning action anime. You know what, Vinny? I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Not only does Faye have some beautiful fight scenes with just the choreography of it itself, but they are some of the most... Everything I've reacted to with Fate Stay, you guys, a lot of it gets blocked, you know, sadly, sadly. We've, I can't tell you guys how many times I've watched fight scenes from Fate that I'm not able to post, just because I literally have to take out the whole video. But the, the colors, they just... It's like they almost go into your eye sockets. They're just so beautiful. It really just just makes for an absolutely top tier an visual anime, study. Anime. If we're talking about visual presentation, and that's not even getting to the heavens feel movies. If you, it's just such, mm, you know what I'm saying? Their their stuff just hits. An like anime, if we're talking, you guys about can't hear the shit right now. And that's not even getting to the. But I know in this scene it goes, vroom, me, me, you know what I mean? And once she like hits the sword like that, it just. You feel it, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the shit I'm saying anymore, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Vinny at 2 for another great list as usual. One of my favorite ones we've honestly seen. Top stunning. Yeah. So, y'all be easy, bro. I'll get to the next one, man.